Hello and welcome everyone. 2019 was not exactly the best year for Neymar. Penalized by injuries and absent from the crucial appointments of the season with Paris Saint-Germain. Just as in the America's Cup criticized by the press booed by his fans, the Brazilian is not having a good time. Yet if everything seems to be going badly for the Brazilian prodigy, he is not so bad any more than you might think. Because yes there is something that does not change for Neymar, whether it rains, wind, the weather is good or not, Neymar earns money. Neymar is full of money, he swims in the money. Probably in one day he earns even more than your annual salary, which is dizzying just trying to estimate his income. Currently regarded as a living god of football, Neymar da Silva Santos, from his real name, is one of the highest paid footballers in the world. But beware, spoiler, he's definitely not the one who can handle luck better than him. Because yes it is true. The Brazilian-born player amasses millions, but he also excels in the art of squandering in a flash. Do you want to know how he does it? Well, first of all, let us introduce the character quickly. Neymar da Silva Santos was born on February 5, 1992 in Magui da Esquas, a city in Brazil in the state of Sao Paulo about 45 kilometers from Sao Paulo. He is the son of Neymar Santos Sr. and Nadine Santos, at his birth he inherits the name of his father, a former footballer who will later become his main consultant. He falls in love with football, since he was a child in the streets of Sao Paulo. Neymar also plays soccer and street football. Two variants of traditional football that he became passionate about was very early. In 95 Neymar moved with his family to Sao Vicente, where he began to play for holiness, and in 2003 they moved back to a mortuary city where Neymar reached Santos, a few years later in the Marcy he made known, and was noticed by Barcelona, who reached in 2013 with which he wins in particular the Spanish League and the Champions League in 2015. He appears in the list of the three finalists of the 2015 Ballon d'Or, alongside Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, and is therefore the first Brazilian player to appear on this list since 2007, and according to public opinion he is also by far one of the best strikers of his generation. Neymar also won dozens of cups and championships, including the South American Under-20 Championships in 2011, then in 2012 Brazil, won the silver medal at the Summer Olympics after being in the final against Mexico. Then again with his national team he won the Confederations Cup in 2013, by defeating Spain in the final. In short, when it comes to football Neymar plays with the greats. But he's so good at business. Well it would seem that in this sector the young Brazilian loses some control sometimes explanations. In 2012 Neymar ranks seventh on the list of the highest paid footballers in the world with incomes of about 13.8 million euros between his salary, bonuses and his image rights. In 2013 Neymar reached fifth place in this ranking with annual incomes of around 22 million euros, but in 2017 Neymar smashed all records, moved from Barcelona to PSG, and thanks to this, he became the most expensive player in the history of football. With a transfer value to 222 million euros. In that period it far exceeds Paul Pogba's record, who had been transferred for 105 million euros to Manchester United, after that same year Paris Saint-Germain paid the player an annual net salary of between 30 and 35 million euros. Nothing less. Not to mention that to round up he also receives bonuses of 375,000 euros, just to go to greet his fans at the end of each game of the club. The player also has other sources of income, thanks to the advertising he does with the big brands such as Hayek, Gillette, Panasonic, Red Bull, Orfeo, which bring in more than 20 million a year, just to accept to lend his face. Needless to say, Neymar is now estimated to earn more than euros 6,500 per hour, and when you have so much money, you wonder just how you can spend it. Well, here's what Neymar does with his small fortune. His houses. Neymar's wealth has allowed him to have numerous luxury homes in the various countries where he has been lucky enough to play, but the most impressive of them is certainly in his native country. In fact, Neymar bought an 8 million euro mansion in Brazil in October 2016, located in a super protected property called Portobello. The impressive property has tennis courts, swimming pools, a gym, 
and a helipad. And after signing with Paris Saint-Germain, Neymar also rushed to rent a five-story private hotel in Paris for a thousand euros a month, which contains among other things, a large indoor swimming pool and garden. The poor fellow was forced to leave his kingdom of a thousand square meters and give it up. The move was imposed for many reasons mainly for security reasons, because individuals would have broken into his property. His son, Neymar has a son Davi Lucca, born in 2011, when he was only 19 years old. From his relationship with Carolina Dantes, to properly take care of his son, and so that he never lacks for anything, Neymar Jr. then sends $15,000 each month to the young mother. His father is an agent and tax consultant. Impossible to enter Neymar's world without meeting his father, who is also his protective agent. Neymar Sr. is no less a sulfurous character, progressively building an empire starting from the income of his son. In 2006 he founded NR Sports which manages the image rights of the boy, but also springs up on real estate activities and the sale of derivative products. But his first real big game masterstroke was the negotiation of his son's transfer to Barcelona. Officially, the transaction is valued at 57 million euros, a sum very far from the real sum which in the end amounts to 87 million euros, due to this suspicious capital gain. Once the light of day has been revealed, and it has ended up directly in the pockets of the prodigy's father, the Brazilian taxman opens an investigation and Neymar Sr. risks up to five years in prison accompanied by a fine of about 50 million euros. Same thing in Spain, where justice attacks the player and Barcelona for fraud and corruption of legal proceedings which are still ongoing. So the relationship between father and son is difficult, but potentially conflicting. One of the founders of the disc company who had bought 40% of the player's sports rights, for example, a few years ago told the Spanish newspaper as that Neymar had many advertising contracts, but received only half of the money he didn't know, but it's his father who kept the money. One day he found out that his father kept half of the money, and their relationship has cooled since then. Its means of transport. Of course Neymar has all the range of beautiful cars you can expect from him. Porsche Panamera, Audi, Ferrari, you don't risk meeting him in the subway. But unlike most footballers, Neymar is not a fan of racing cars. He prefers private jets, already the owner of a small plane engraved with his initials in a helicopter or a yacht. The Parisian star enriched his personal park in 2016, giving us a wonderful private jet, a Cessna situation, 680 at the price of 8 million euros, bought thanks to the company Neymar Sports and Marketing. This aircraft can carry up to 12 passengers and reach a speed of 890 kilometers per hour. A purchase that had made a lot of noise at that time, especially in Brazil, because there were many who had thought that Neymar was exaggerating his expenses for luxury products. Friends to keep. Some are lucky enough to be Neymar's friends and have nothing else to do in life other than being presentable and accompanying him everywhere. His gang of friends called the toys would cost him a lot of money on travel, clothes and other maintenance expenses, but Neymar's friends still have a good life. The suit that is worth gold. Neymar is not always in football uniform and in sneakers. He also wears suits, and not just any ones. Outside the fields Neymar wears Dior, Hugo Boss and above all his favorites the minimum thousand euro suits of Brazilian Ricardo Almeida, the tailor declares that, by presenting the two models the player always chooses for both. At parties it is he who delights. Neymar and his friends are true revelers, and when it comes to partying, he goes all out. Neymar and his gang share photos and videos of his releases with his more than 80 million followers on Instagram. For example in Halloween he privatized the discotheque, La Cartel in Paris, with Paris and Germain's goalkeeper, Kevin Trapp and his wife. With his toys, they regularly travel aboard the Cessna Citation 680 jet to reach animated poker games. Watches. If anyone who has a smile, that goes from ear to ear, it will be the Italian watchmaker Gaga. In Milan, Neymar has become a fan of his personalized watches. 
that are worth between 1890 and 37,000 euros, but are far from being the most expensive in his collection. He would also have a Richard Mill valued at 850,000 euros and a Delacour with the Brazilian flag set with diamonds. Incredible. Saint Neymar. A while ago Neymar appeared sporting some kind of 100% Jesus band on the pitch. And they all wondered why? Well his hometown the player is associated with a saint, after all he is a devout Catholic, and he is the founder of the institute he protected Neymar Jr., in whom he invested a considerable amount of money, a sports complex of about 8,000 square meters that includes land, an indoor swimming pool, study rooms etc., so a thousand needy children were able to access it and be treated. Joel Morris, the director of the institute, declares that initially it was Father Neymar who financed everything, but now they have sponsors to support them. So what do you think of the way Neymar spends his fortune? You would have done the same if you had been in his place. Tell us in the comments what you would have done with so much money.